I am out as Sophos. I am no one wise. But you don't have to be wise to know love. So that's Forrest Gump. I may not be a smart man, Jenna, but I know what love is. Love is Invictus. And Invictus means undefeated, immutable. And here's why. You know, many great poets and artists have talked about love and about what love is. And we have all grown up with dreams about what love is. Just about everybody was indoctrinated by Walt Disney. But what love is and what love isn't. I'm going to give you my answer to this. But love comes from within here. It starts in here. It is all in here. And we talk about it as if there are many different kinds of love. There are many different forms of love. There's romantic love. There's, you know, the love of a parent, the love of a friend. But no, I disagree. There is only one love. I'm going to say that there is only one love. And it is what is happening in here. And what is happening in here is delegating all else. You know, in the Kundalini system, we talk about the heart, the level of the heart, and it's known as Anahata. And it's the fourth chakra. And what is within it is a Merkaba, two triangles. One points up and the other points down. And they merge. And as above, so below. There are three chakras below Anahata and three above. And the three below work primarily with the functions of the physical, the physical realms. A lot of which we commonly associate, which are more primordial and um, animalistic, perhaps. But upwards of Anahata, these realms are more ethereal, and these realms involve more thought, cognitive aspects of the intellect, and the possibilities that a human being has beyond this. And you know, Anahata being number four is green, green like flora, like the earth. Plants, generally green, horizons. So everything above this, we move into blue, like the sky, but everything below the horizon is orange, yellow, red. But what is happening here at this level, there's a little, at, in my chest, there's a little drummer boy and he's going boom, 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 boom. And it's like a clock. Every life will only have so many heartbeats. You never know how many years we'll have, but that clock, that internal clock is constantly pulsing. Now, it is said that this area, it is the unstruck sound, meaning if you play guitar, you use a pick and you're striking the strings. You play the drums, you're using a stick, and you're hitting the skins. But with the heart, it's not being struck by anything, but it goes on with its rhythm and with its cadence. Boom, 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 boom. And it is this unstruck sound that connects all things at the level of the heart, empathy, and love. 
It all begins in here, and it all spreads out, above and below, as within, so without. So if you love, hold love in here, you will love all things. You, will, you can have love for all things. But if you, can't, if you don't hold love in here, if this light is dim, then you will be seeking to find love in something, something to fill it, something to give it more light, more vibrancy, because that desire, that need is there, and the light is dim. And so you're looking for something to fuel that fire. But I say, churn it up from within. And it begins with your breath. Learn to breathe properly. But I don't want to get away, too far away from the subject of love. So let me say this, that when it comes to truly unconditional love, somebody who is capable of loving unconditionally, this is one of the most rare finds in the world. It isn't often. You don't come across it all the time in the world. And when you do, you'll feel it and you'll know it. And it will resonate with you, but it is rare. It is rare and the reason why it is rare is because such an individual must set themselves free within here first so that they can love boundlessly, so that they don't need to be filled by anything else. And so all they do is radiate out. This is what unconditional love is about. I don't expect anyone to love unconditionally. I love unconditionally, but I don't expect anyone else to love unconditionally. That's what unconditional means. Because if you must love me unconditionally, then I've already put a condition on you. So it's really simple. You know, there's a long verse, a biblical verse, talking about love is patient, love is kind, and all of these things. Yes, it is. However, love is very simple. So I say we keep it simple. And this is what love is. Every coin has two sides. And so do we. And we may call them masculine and feminine energies. Without one of these polarities, it is like the polarities of a magnet. Without one of these polarities, there is imbalance. Now, we are talking within. We are not talking about externally yet. So internally, if the masculine and the feminine are imbalanced in here, then something is lacking. Something is lacking in here. But the thing about magnets is that when the positive and the negative come together, when they stop repelling each other with positive and positive and negative and negative, when positive and negative come together, they are stuck together and there is no distance between them. And it is effortless for them to be as such. And so I say that love is effortless. Love does not require effort and love is not a choice. Love is alchemical. There is emotion behind it, but love is so deep that there is no distance in it. And so if your polarity should align within you, you will find balance like the balance of a spinning top. And what holds that, that spinning top in place is the gravity of that central core. Now all things have a central core, but if the polarities are imbalanced, the core is lost and the top is easily toppled. Now those that have balanced this within themselves are not lacking 
in any way, shape, or form with the external world, and so their love is free to give. It is free-flowing. It is a path of least resistance for them. It is not compulsion. It is radiance. Love is palpable. You can feel it when it walks in a room. And love will make all else irrelevant to the fact that nothing will be so important to you as love when it takes you over. And so I say that love is not a choice in that you can just turn it off or choose not to love. What love can do is love can stay open, love can flourish, love can thrive without acting. And that is an act of will, because will is the ability to take a course of action or inaction, irregardless of the desire to do otherwise. So you can love someone and let them go. Or, because love is founded in, the ability to love is founded within, this is primary. You are primary. Because if you are not taking care of yourself, you cannot take care of your partner. And so, take care of this first, and you will love your partner in a free way, if that is the kind of love we're talking about, romantic love. But, one who is taking care of this does not allow for abuse. There can certainly be circumstances where you are stuck and you have no other option and you must endure, but you will find a way out. Love will find a way. Love will break all boundaries and possibilities. Love will escape. And you will know if you are being abused. Abuse is uh, not a sign of love. Abuse is a sign of damage. And so... There are a lot of misconceptions about love between the boundaries of what we need and what we want. Because real love has the ability, the will, to back away, to let someone go, or to even walk away, and still love the other person. You can still love them and walk away. But because love has the possibility to do this, It is free-flowing. It cannot be bound and it will not lock anyone else. It would not put a lock on anyone else. It would not abuse anyone else. What happens because of the ideas of what love is, is that when we are very young, you have to understand that in this world, in a lot of ways, because I have said that unconditional love is so rare, that in a lot of ways, the blind are leading the blind. Now, everyone has experienced pain. Pain is the root and the common denominator. But not everyone in this world has experienced love, and certainly not everyone has experienced unconditional love. And so in a lot of ways, the blind are leading the blind. And the way the mind is, and the way that it identifies, it picks up habits at a very young age. And we learn how to treat each other in a lot of ways, by how we were treated when we were young. And a lot of times, in parental relations, a child is easily taught that they must earn love, that love is to be earned, and if they do not act appropriately, they are that love vanishes. And so this is how people are training other people, indoctrinating them how to act. What it actually is, is emotional manipulation. If you're being emotionally manipulated, here's what is going to happen. These are the symptoms and the signs that you're going to see, is that if you do something wrong, you are not lovable. And that when you do something right, you are loved. This is emotional manipulation, 
It is what you are calling conditional love, and I tell you, it's no love at all. Yes, it is rooted in love, in the ideas of love, but it is misguided. There has been misunderstanding along the line, the innocence and ignorance, and that misunderstanding has bred miscommunication and misconception. And so now we are in the boundaries of emotional manipulation. And love. Now, because in this world, many people do not realize that they are in all things, that everything is within them, and so they are a part of everything. And when you don't understand that interconnectedness with all things, it can be difficult to see how unconditional love is possible. But when you understand that you are in all things, that you are the essence of all things, it is easy to love everything because you know it as yourself. However, because people don't recognize this, people are trying to reach out into the world and grab things and hold on to them and possess them. And we are doing this with people and with people that we love. In fact, the people that we love the most, we are doing this to. We are saying, give me and stay here and be with me and these are my expectations, and this is the role that you must fulfill, because without you, I am empty. And this is possessiveness. And we are, it, is an elu it is elusive based, because there is nothing you can possess in this world, for one, because it is all yours. You cannot own this corner and not this corner. You own all of it or none of it. So when you're trying to grab over here and grab over there and you're holding on to temporal things and then those people disappoint you and let you down and then you blame them. When in reality, you have set standards and possessive means which are unachievable for nearly anybody. If you need somebody else to complete you, you are starting off on the wrong foot. So unconditional love says this. I love you, no matter where you are, no matter where you go, no matter what you have done, I love you. That does not mean that actions do not come with consequences. Much is forgivable, so much is forgivable, but that forgiveness be begins within you and with your intention. And so what is forgivable and what is not forgivable, I'm reading intention. How? That's my business. But unconditional love is never a lock. It never binds. It will never bind you. It will set you free. It will make you the best version of yourself. It will make anything possible. Suddenly, the roof will be blown off and anything will become possible. And to call anything short of this love is a mistake because when you do find that love, you'll want that word reserved. If everything is magnificent, then what is truly magnificent, you're going to have to find a better word. Cause I'm shameless when it comes to loving you. Girl, I'll do anything you want me to. I'll do anything at all. And I'm standing here yeah, for all the world to see. Oh, baby, that's what's left of me. I don't have very far to fall. You know now I'm not a man who's ever been insecure about the world I've been living in. I don't break it easy, I have my pride, but if you need to be satisfied, I'm shameless. Oh honey, I don't have a prayer, every time I see you standing there, I go down upon my knees, and I'm changing. 
Swore I never compromise. Oh, but you convince me otherwise. I'll do anything you please. You see, in all my life, I never found what I couldn't resist, what I couldn't turn down. I could walk away from anyone I ever knew, but I can't walk away from you. I have never let anything have this much control over me. I work too hard to call my life my own. And I've made myself a world and it's worked so perfectly. But it's your world now, I can't refuse. Cause I've never had so much to lose. Who I'm shameless. You have nothing to lose in love. It is like a candle's flame on a wax candle that never mounts. I suppose when the body dies, the candle mounts. But as long as I am alive, it will be like one candle lighting three candles, and those three candles will light nine candles, and those nine candles will light 27 candles, and so on and so forth. And it will be undefeated and immutable. I am Invictus. Much love.